Can you explain, please, the place of discipline in the spiritual life? Depends what kind of discipline we talk about. If we talk about external discipline, the discipline of the soldier, the discipline of the industrial workers, that is not needed. Because that is artificial. It comes from the world, from outside, from the other. Schools are not really a place for education. They are a place to create and reproduce workers, obedient workers. If you see from the kindergarten, slowly begin a kind of indoctrination to put the children in lines with tables, in certain hour to come, certain hour end. In the school, first, second grade, we begin with bell for the break, and then hours of study in order with the teacher. All that found his sources, especially in the, industri in the beginning of the industrial era. The, the idea was to create workers, generations of workers, obedient workers, that they can continue to be exploited. And that kind of discipline is external and don't care about something real. In the spiritual path, we are for discipline, but other kind of discipline that is totally different is the discipline that comes from the disciple, from the same word, very, very similar words, discipline and disciple. We talk about the discipline that come out of understanding and from consciousness, is the discipline that comes from within. When I understand something, and something is really clear for me, I have certain discipline, but it's not imposed from outside. It's a consequence of a level of consciousness. A person is a Hindu, and he don't eat meat, no fish, no eggs, is vegetarian and is very disciplined, never touch meat in his life. And what is the reason? Because he's forbidden. He's written in a book. That kind of discipline is a kind of uh, indoctrination. Can be a kind of brainwashing. But if you have such a level of consciousness that you are sensible about other living beings like the animals, and they should be killed in order that you eat, and you suffer you, because of compassion for the killing of animals. You don't want to eat meat. You can't. That kind of discipline comes from consciousness itself. It's an expression of your level of consciousness. That is the discipline of the disciple. When you live under external discipline, supposed by a soldier, the next day you go back home, you break all the rules, means you 
you don't want to live under that discipline. People who live religions, institutional religions, and live for years under certain external discipline, the next day they live a Hindu religious organization, the next day they sit in McDonald's. People who live Jewish religious organization, the next week in the Shabbat they sit in a discotheque with a good cigarette. Means it was, it was something external. Didn't touch their soul. But when your discipline come out of your level of consciousness, you simply can't. You cannot live different. Doesn't matter where you are or how you are, there are a lot of things that you will never do. A woman that never is with other men because his husband say, her husband say, if you will be with other men, I catch you, I kill you. Okay. She can be very, very uh, honest with her husband. But a woman that understands that is a question of dignity, even of aesthetic, it's a question of love. It's a question of honesty. She understood something, the same for the men. There is an understanding. Put it in every single field of life, and you will see. Discipline that ha is imposed has no value. The discipline that is wanted is that that comes out of understanding, awareness, watchfulness, is out of your knowing, out of wisdom. Hmm? 